Right, evening everybody. Um, it is the 17th of February 2021. It is President's News. I'm going a little bit early this week because it's half term. Um, I have got uh, Luna and Barnaby here, so I'm going to go off and make some dinner after this. Um, try and figure out what we're all going to eat. Um, very important first thing, and I've got to make sure I've got the right arm up. Yes, I have. This one. Uh, look at this over here. Hello, Christine Harper. Um, this is um, a, well, a big thank you to the Ostrich family, but I think particularly Claire, uh, Zoe and uh, Yasmin who put together this uh, welcome to your new home card for the president. So that was very, very kind of them. Thank you very, very much. So that's on display um, for everyone to see. Um, very, very nice to receive that um, this week. Well, the snow has gone, of course, um, and given way to the mud and the rain. Um, I went out for a run uh, this morning in the woods um, around Norman Park and I was absolutely amazed at how waterlogged it was. I don't know if anyone else has been through those woods lately. Um, it's almost like, you know, burst water main time. It's completely crazy through there. Um, I also caught Will Brindley there uh, putting in his early morning miles. So that was nice to see him. Good evening, John Hubbard. Liking your pictures of uh, Chislehurst in the snow. Very, very artistic. Um, so anyway, the, normally uh, we'd be getting the packing done. Those of, the, those of us getting ready um, for a weekend up at Sheffield at the indoors, um, at the indoor age group champs. Um, we'd be loving the athletics, but also um, it's customary or becoming customary to catch a dinner on the Saturday night with all the people attending. Um, always very interesting trying to find a restaurant that has a table that John Blackie can sit at. Um, very, very particular about where John sits, um, but always great to, to be in his company, especially at an event like that. And then usually nearby, of course, uh, the cross-country lot are at the, at the Nationals. Um, so, you know, great uh, weekend, this one, which, of, of course, we're missing out on, but, you know, we hope for, uh, you know, future times. Um, but uh, certainly great to reminisce about that. For me, I love the National Cross Country because we get Paul Ostridge giving the whole rundown at dinner about how everybody's done, every position, every achievement um, on the day's uh, performance. And then, of course, you get all the people there from the top table recounting their old um, events uh, and, and performances at the Nationals. I can see Tim Ayres is on the feed. He's done a few Nationals in his time. Um, my particular favourite, I think, has to be um, the muddy course uh, up at Nottingham. Um, you know, it's just great for, for sliding around on that course. Um, talking of sliding around, nice segue there, Mr. President. Um, Tremaine Gilling was ranked uh, number one at under 23 in the 100 metres in 2010. Um, he has since swapped his Blackheath and Bromley vest for a, a GB bobsleigh helmet. Um, and this weekend, he finished 12th with his team members um, in, the, uh, in the championships at Altenburg in uh, Germany. So great performance to Tremaine. Um, really brilliant that he's, he's cracking forward with that sport. Um, also, uh, terrific results from the Brigham Sports Invitational um, at Manchester on Saturday. In the 3,000 metres, Phil Sessman finished uh, inside the European Indoors qualifying standard by over three seconds. Uh, Phil's time was 7 minutes 51.27, uh, which still lies uh, quite a bit outside um, uh, the club record. And of course, Phil, I think, is second claim. Um, Scott overall um, has a, a time of 7.48, so we did check on that one. Um, any runners feeling inspired by this, though, should join the team for the EA Virtual Road Relays. The team has now grown to over 20 athletes, and we've got 10 women, so great. Thank you very, very much for, for heeding that call. Um, so 10 women now entered, but it really is the more the merrier for this one, um, and we have a really good chance at the top spot. If, of course, if we win this round, um, then next round you go on to represent England, um, and that is, you know, such a rare opportunity um, to do that with your own club, uh, club teammates. Um, so really, really think um, it's a good one to go for. So really encourage everyone to enter into that one. 
Um, Chris Woodcock knows all about team spirit. Um, Chris showcased on this week's Sunday Spotlight. That's the new um, Instagram initiative. Uh, we've had Rose Bennett on there as well. Uh, didn't mention her lemon drizzle cake. Sorely missed during lockdown, but um, obviously hoping for that um, when we get out of lockdown. Um, but Chris um, really got lots of likes for his reminiscing of the Snowy Orion mob match with everyone finishing from different directions. I think we all know about that. That is the course that goes on forever. Um, bonsoir, uh, Jane Bradshaw. Hope your leg is okay. Um, hope you're doing all right. Sorry that you can't be running at the moment. Um, you know, Tim Ayers and his team um, have steadily built a best in class in social media this year um, and, and, you know, and a great comms presence um, over this last 12 months. Uh, Tim is looking for more help. Um, so, we, you know, we have so many ideas that we want to execute um, and we really do have so many different mediums to play with. You know, I can see Pete Rogers is on here as well. You know, we have great print media with the Gazette. Um, you know, we need help with the courier. Um, you can get involved with that. You can help Nick Brooks with the press releases if you want to be involved in the printed matter, you know, or if it's on the social media side, um, then obviously we need help with Instagram. There's so much we can do with Facebook. There's so much we can do with TikTok, you know, and there's also, you know, great um, strides forward um, occurring on, uh, in the website space as well. So there's plenty um, for people to get involved in and, and to get stuck into. And that really is, uh, you know, a great life skill to equip you, uh, you know, alongside your athletics. Um, and, you know, really shouting out to everyone, not just the youngsters, any, everyone should feel like they could get involved um, in, that, uh, in that team. If you want to, the, the email address to write to is b and b virtual events at gmail.com. Um, certainly Adrian Stocks uh, should join that team for Adrian's anagrams, um, which was uh, really great uh, to have that challenge last week. I'd say a few of them did make me blush, um, but I'm really hoping that we can get the list memorialized in the Gazette because I really thought that was a great um, initiative last week. This week, um, Adrian's clearly been listening to status quo. Um, Adrian wants you running all over the world. Um, so if you can run in a street named after a country, um, then that will get you uh, through your Wednesday nighters lockdown challenge this week. This month, Adrian has, has made it into a sort of special month where, you know, he's encouraging you to do 100 miles or 100 kilometres, whatever you choose, over the course of the month. So really, really great fun way um, to get stuck into that. Um, anyway, that's your presence news for this week. So, of course, reminiscing about the Nationals. Time's gone by, but obviously future times ahead, which will be great. Hope everyone is enjoying their half-term break. Um, not, not much of a different break, but there you go. And uh, really looking forward to seeing everyone um, next week. All right, take care. Good night.